This is the Rocking Road Show, the only show for bikers by bikers. Jump on as we talk all things motorcycle, maintenance, accessories, weekly rides, bike nights, and more. With your hosts, Alfie and the One Three. So kick stands up and let's get rolling. What's going on, guys? Sorry. Welcome to another episode of The Rocking Road Show. As always, I am Alvy, and I'm joined by my main man. The one, three. And we got a special guest today. Slide him in a little bit. A little bit over there this way. There we go. <laughs> what is your name? Say it. Ray. Ray. Ray is, <laughs> Ray. Ray is joining Ray. us uh, for the episode. Uh, good friend of ours. And he just decided, uh, <laughs> I want to come on and see what all this is about. And... Sit, you know, kind of have fun with everybody. So, <laughs> so here we Hi, go. Hi, Kim. Um, uh, Kim's watching. Hey, Kim, what's up, baby? Um, I all right, here, let me do this. I'm gonna move the camera a little bit towards uh, blah blah blah. How's that? Let's see. You good right there? See, right there. All right, cool. all right, cool. So, um, thank you for joining us. Uh, as everybody starts kind of piling in, uh, we got a really cool show for you guys tonight. A bunch of really interesting topics. Yes, uh, we kind of uh, Talked about what we're going to talk about today. A little uh, bit. The very last topic that we're going to bring up before we hit our events topic. Would that be delay? Uh, <laughs> it, it, it be delay. No, I thought that was later on. <laughs> <laughs> so the, uh, the, the, we're going to tease it a little bit. The last topic we talk about before our events uh, section is uh, a little bit polarizing, a little bit fun. I think it's going to be an interesting topic. Uh. And I'm waiting till the end till everybody kind of joins the show so we can get a little bit more interaction with everybody. Uh, on that topic. So, Amen. so with that, let's jump right into the show. We're going to talk about first topic is going to be a, a thing that um, our friends over at Full Throttle posted. Uh, I thought it was a really super cool um, charity, so to speak. And uh, as you can, can see it crossed it across the bottom of the screen, uh, it is called Bikers Against Bullies. I think uh, Babusa. Babusa, right? Right. Babusa. Bob, Bobby, Bobby, sir, the one three saw that, and uh, it's bikers, bikers against bullying USA. They abbreviated B A B dash or space USA. Babusa. The one three just hijacked it. He calls it Babusa now. So yeah, it's awesome. Uh, so bikers against bullies USA is a nonprofit organization created by bikers to raise awareness um, and empower the community to fight the terrible effects of bullying on young people through education community outreach, and fundraising. Um, super cool. The video that the guys at Full Throttle posted um, was the founders. It's a, it's a couple. Um, and they just kind of went out there and started this, this uh, movement about talking about bullying and right. how to uh, help That's young awesome. kids um, avoid bullying and, and you know, right. kind of raise awareness to all these kids, right? Right. Um, and... They are using kind of they're using the motorcycle as a conversation piece to kind of bring people in to get people to talk to exactly. get the kids. Hey, dude, that's an awesome bike. Exactly. Um, yeah, hey, yeah, uh, you cool. know, blah blah blah. Bullying, cool. I goes right there. Perfect, right? Exactly. So uh, yeah. what was really cool about it is uh, somebody came up to them and said, "Hey, you guys should take this and bring it into the school system." They're from uh, Minnesota. Minnesota. Or, uh, yeah, Minnesota. Minnesota. <laughs> and they were like, you guys should bring this into the to the school system and figure out a way to do this in front of, That's you know. That's a great idea. Uh, so they were like, yeah, that'd be great. Went to the school systems. School systems were like, cool. And they said, well, there's one caveat. We've got to be able to bring bikes into the school. And a lot of them got, you know, a lot of the schools were kind of got some, some pushback on it at first. A little, little standoff. Right. How are you going to bring a motorcycle into my gym? Bro? Exactly. So cool. then the schools finally opened up to it. At least one did. They brought the bikes in. They bring two bikes into the uh, to the gymnasium. They do like a big pep rally and and, and kind of preach their, their uh, you right. know, their, their, their just out of curiosity. speech or whatever. Got any pictures of their bikes? I don't, but they just standard the bikes. Oh, okay. I saw a white one. I wasn't sure. It looked like a street glide. Yeah. Lowered. Yeah, I mean, bags, most. Stuff like that. Yeah, most. I mean, they're not like you know extravagant bikes. You're, nope. You know, they're definitely daily riders, that kind of thing. Cool. Um, but they finally were able to bring a bike in, and they've just kind of grown this nonprofit and this 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 uh, you know movement uh, within their within their their home state. There. Oh, that's really cool because. Um, 
they don't get the ride a lot up north. No, they don't. Um, you get what? Two months? Yeah, if you're lucky. I really? grew up up. Yeah, if you're lucky. So That's so cool. So really cool, really cool idea. And um, I'm going to kind of go through some stuff here. You know me with um, yeah, stats and stuff stats like that. Stats and everything. So we'll jump right into it real quick. I just thought it was really neat. Uh, their mission statement, um, they are a, uh, a nonprofit group created by bikers but not limited to bikers. Uh, it's, uh, it is committed to creating awareness and education both in children and adults on the benefit of living in a society of respect for each other nice. right. uh, combined with self-empowerment. Sure. Um, we strive to create a society in which our mutual respect will create a new role model for others and through our actions enable others to have the confidence to emulate this behavior and reiterate it in po their positive message to others. So, I mean, we kind of talked about this when we did the Chuck and Deb, Chuck yes, and Deb Chuck interview, and Deb right? Right, yes. That oh, the, I didn't catch that. It, it was really good. You got to oh, check it out. Did. Check that, that out. That was great. Yeah. Um, and so, she gave you all a shout out. Yeah, for sure. And I think what was really cool about that is she asked us to que she asked us a question, you know, what uh, what what's the what's the coolest thing you guys have gotten, you know, personally from doing this right. show? And, you know, and I I kind of went off on everything, but I kind of came back to one thing, and they brought it up in this mission statement here too, is that the biker community as a whole, it doesn't matter who you are, right? It doesn't matter if you're no, white, sir. doesn't matter if you're black, doesn't no, matter sir. if you're Latino, doesn't matter if you're purple, whatever, right? Doesn't matter what demographic you come from, what economic stand, you know, economic place you come from, doesn't matter any of that. Everybody's there for one thing, right? That's Brotherhood. Right. The betterment of, of everybody, right? Definitely raising money for 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 charitable events, things like we're so all far, there that's to do the three. same thing, right? You know what I mean? But, but we're, we're there right. for one common thing. We all like motorcycles. We all ride, right? Mostly, or have a, a, an interest in bikes, right? But you know, and, and these guys these guys are taking cool. you know taking that love of the motorcycle and and bringing out a message that you know not only is helping kids, but it's bringing awareness to a, a severe problem that we have. Oh. Definitely in society happy. with with especially with bullying especially now because you know back in back when we were in school right bullying bullying existed but it was way different right because you had a bully yep. and you go to school and he fuck with you and then you'd go home and you wouldn't have to deal with the bully again until tomorrow now, now you've got we, this thing right now here. you've got now right now you've got that you've Wait. got you've got Wait. this right and now your bully never goes away yeah go ahead what no were you i mean we we didn't have bullies. I mean, we had friends. We'd kick each other's ass. But well, see, and that's the other. Right. That's where I was going to go with this. Just then, where, where he did. Yeah. If you get you go to school, you confront the bully, you get your ass beat, or you beat his ass. And then we're it's friends. over. Yeah. Then you're, it's over. Most of the time, it's over. <laughs> oh, it's over. Well, that's you know that's and then we have a cake party. That is. <laughs> I'm just we've, saying. We've done that. Hey, mom, how you doing? Carl Kearney, how y'all doing? Thanks uh, for joining, everybody. Thanks for joining. Um. Yes. Yeah, so. Uh, just you know, just a really great uh, organization. I'm gonna ch I'm gonna try and reach out to this organization to see if um, if we can get in touch with somebody. Maybe we can we can do a quick interview via Skype or something. Whether it's with Absolutely. the whether it's with the founders, but apparently this is a, a nationwide um, organization. So there actually might be a local chapter here in Florida sure, that we can be. that we can interview. So well, it says there, there are volunteer chapters across the nation. Um, although there are no national officers, right. um, each chapter is coordinated or designated a volunteer in each re region. Right. So there might, you know, there might be one closer to us instead of, you know, up in Minnesota. This is pretty cool. I'm sorry. I just read this. Yeah, yeah. No, that's they, pretty, they, I, they, they, um, they, they, they promote rides. They give you promotion. You know, they have promotions. They, they organize they rides, you. Facebook pages. Right. They, they have appearance events and, and open to public of all ages, gender and sexual orientation. Yeah. Which like you just mentioned. Exactly. And it's all about the motorcycle, um, community, if you will. Right. And, and but then it's, the topic is yeah. bullying. Bullying. I like that. I like the way they did this. Movement. Um, cool. So yeah, uh, they, you know, there, something else that comes off their page is our children deserve to be safe. Um, and they, uh, and they should be empowered to live their lives without fear. Yeah, well, speaking of, speaking well, of the Chuck and Deb show, Chuck Bell just shot, hey, signed Chuck, on. Thanks for joining, Bobby, Bobby Ehlers, uh, who was supposed to be walking this way from his house. May, he might come over now that he sees the race here. <laughs> oh, I already called him. He better come over with his drum and go. Um, so, um, 
like I was saying, they are a. I, I said Minnesota. I was. I was. I misspoke. They, they are from up north. It's it's Montana. Montana. There's a little They're difference right between Minnesota and Montana. Very. Yeah, you know, but but it's still up right there. The still, still fucking Gorgeous. cold. Still everything else. It, uh, they were formed in 2012 in Missoula, Montana. Um, <laughs> they uh, they don't claim expertise in anti-bullying, uh, but they think that uh, the things that they say and the things that they promote uh, will definitely be effective in working to um, to to get rid of right. to eradicate the, the the bullying. Awesome. Um, Good job, man. I do they, like um, this. I, I, I you know what I like their logo. I was checking it out just now. Um, the right. eyeball, the pinstriping, the wings. Yep. I mean. It's, That's pretty cool. It's pretty neat, man. It's kind of old school. Definitely, right? Um, like like One Three was saying, they do uh, promotions, they do rides, they do Facebook pages, so forth and so on. Um, they, uh, if you're not a biker, they don't care. They welcome all supporters. Uh, you don't have to be a motorcycle enthusiast to be a part of the organization. So I think that's really neat. That is. Um, I've got a huge list of stuff, so I'm not gonna. I'm not really gonna go through everything because it would just. It's just boring as fuck. But, <laughs> uh, but some of the things that they've been able to do with their fundraising, they've raised over um, awesome. over twenty seven thousand dollars for a children's awesome. hospital up there. Wow. Oh, that's cool. Um, they've raised fifty two, almost fifty three thousand dollars for Young and Family Services of South Dakota. Nice. Um, twenty five thousand dollars for Big Brother and Big Sisters of the Black Hills. No kidding. Uh, and it just go. The list goes on and on and question, on. And on. Question. Question, um, because maybe I missed it. Maybe I was doing something. How long have they been around? Um, they were founded in 2012. 2012. So wow. it's a very young organization. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. And to be bring, bring in those numbers is just I mean, freaking amazing. Just crazy, crazy numbers. Hey, maybe we can reach out and we could do something similar here in the school districts of yeah. uh, Pasco. I, it'd be and, awesome if we could pull something like that. Yeah. Um, That'd be cool. They, uh, they also do um, Christmas gifts, so I'm guessing like probably like we did the, the toy run, they probably toy do something stuff very like similar to that. that. Uh, the Watson Shelter, it's um, a shelter for probably children or, um, or battered women, they do Christmas wish lists there. Uh, the Mazzola Youth Homes, they do Christmas wish lists, uh, wish lists there. They've been to over 100 schools. Um, they have a t-shirt program. Uh, wristbands, vehicle stickers, nice. posters, games, all kinds of stuff. So really, really cool, um, really cool organization. I, I, like I said, I really hope that we can reach out to these people and uh, and just kind of pick their brain a little bit, figure out why they started it. You know, there's got to be a reason why it was started. You know, maybe maybe they had a kid that was bullied or something. I don't know. Exactly. Yeah, really, really interesting. I'm just checking a, a link that Bobby just sent over to us. Um, and by the, thank of you for course, saying that because I'm gonna actually mine didn't work so um, I'm gonna put the the link to their website in the chat so you guys can go check them out if you want to donate any kind of money well he's saying there's Florida them. chapters so there is it's uh, 212 crewcom oh, cool. uh, so there must be uh, some Florida chapters okay here. that's cool um, and I forgot uh, the way I, I have my computer right now I'll, I'll I'll link all of the stuff that we talk about tonight. Uh, when we when we in the in the uh, when we get done oh hey Deb Deb Bell's on hey Deb thanks for joining um, yeah so a really cool organization um, to wrap this kind of wrap up all the details about it in short uh, obviously their needs grow every year uh, they they pretty much allocate more than they receive um, so Oof. so if you can help in any way uh, please do so right on um, um I I understand helping but helping Montana no I. Sure, kind of, right. That's what I'm saying. But, but that's what I mean, right? This go round it to the sure. This area. Go, to, go to their go to their national website, and I'm sure you could probably find the the local affiliate for your location, for your state, for Perfect. your city, or whatever. Perfect. And and definitely help them out. Um, one thing I do want to say, uh, because it's in here, and I think it's it's really well noted. Um, none of the none of the money that they ever receive goes towards them. Right. They don't. They don't use it for their bikes. They don't use it for their trailers. They don't use it for rigs. They don't use it for anything. They don't use it to transport to Nothing. the places. That's so they, awesome. They use 100%. all that hundred percent of that money. And I mean, again, we. I found this. Do your due diligence. Check it out. Make sure it's you know. Make sure everything's above board. I don't make think sure they're not going to be above board. But um, from what they say, they're not using the funds for personal stuff. So I think that's that's really, awesome. That's, really that's cool. awesome. So, uh, so bikers against bullies. I like it. Very, Babusa. Very like cool it. idea. No, I love it, man. It's, uh, I mean, love it. you know, Thanks, Alvin. what what can you do, right? I mean, there's, there's, uh, it, the funny thing is with all these things, man, there's a million of these organizations oh, yeah. out there. And they don't, they don't get the recognition, I think, that they, that they so very well deserve. 
Uh, so if we can do our part and just kind of throw every once in a while, we nuggets, find man. one and throw it out there. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, oh, that helps. You know, that so helps, absolutely. Y'all. So, uh, that helps, y'all. so go check them out. Like I said, once the, uh, once the chat or once the uh, show is done, I'll put all the uh, links into the, um, uh, into the comment section so you can go and check them out. That's awesome. I'm going to do that. We done with this one? Yep. We're done with this one real quick. I want to do a shout out to, uh, somebody whose shirt I'm wearing today. Okay. Oh, I don't know if y'all can see this. Uh, yes, I can. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, Marvin, Marvin at, at Misfit Metalworks, he took care of my wife's bike for me. Oh, did he? You guys got it done? Thank got the God. tank, got Thank the God. tank welded up, got everything good. He even primed it for me. Nothing, man. All, all just you know, as for a handshake, basically. Good. And and I, I really, really appreciate that. Um, I did have to buy a new pet cock, so it just came in the mail today. So oh, we're gonna be changing, changing that out. And uh, she'll be on the road this weekend. Awesome. However, we're not riding this weekend. <laughs> um, I, I gotta but, work. But she was, might ride this weekend. Yeah. I'm gonna say that I was told that you may be in Leesburg. Yeah, you we'll may, talk about that one later. Hell yeah. You may be in Leesburg. Leesburg may be coming up. So no, you know I will. <laughs> yeah. So once again, that's my shite. <laughs> a big thank you to Misfit Metalworks. Um, they they have some really cool stuff coming awesome, up, man. Uh, they, and, and you know we've said this we've job, said this before we've said this before with uh, Misfit but uh, go check them out they're a great local company here in Tampa Bay area they're in Carrollwood uh, check them out for all your plasma cutting needs metal work needs nice. everything go check them out great company great folks over there yep we love them all um, I can't say we can't say anything no. more no. about them no, they're, just, they're just awesome folks so great people great go people. check them out because they are awesome um, okay, now we can go to the next story. All right, so fast forwarding, we're <laughs> going to jump to something that I wasn't able to take part of, uh, which was this past weekend. Yes. Uh, the 1-3 uh, represented the Rocking Road show on his own um, out at the Born to Ride event for their 1200th episode. Uh, episode. I know, I know you went. We're going to talk about. Oh, did, that's okay. why he was there early before me. Perfect. So we're going. This is good because we can ba- banter back and forth. Yes, you guys can talk right. about it because I wasn't there. I unfortunately had to work, so I wasn't able to be there. Right. Um. But uh, this is a part of the show where I go. Take it away, boys. Take it away, boys. <laughs> so what's really cool about it, um, is uh, I, I was doing a side job basically, and and uh, I didn't think I'd be going. Then I called Bobby. He said he was leaving at 11. Ray, Bobby and Ray. And uh, so I finished what I was doing. Dan Lindbergh and myself, we hauled ass over to we went a 100 mile ride just to go to this thing. That's what we did. <laughs> That's what you got to do though. It was a 100 mile ride just to go That's to this basically thing. Basically what I did. Where so, it was in Plant City, right? It was in Plant yeah. City. It was at the corner. It was at 100, 100 miles. County line, County line Road and 60. Uh, yeah. It was right there okay. on the corner. And it was a Freak show at, at Twilight. Twilight. Can I go there. Like, yeah. <laughs> you go there, man. You know what? I, I gotta say, um, Ron Galetti, Born to Ride, TV Max. They always put on a great event. They really yeah, it was do. Awesome. This, this. I mean, it was slammed when I got there. It kind of petered out because we got there late in the day. It was about three o'clock, and only two hours left of the day, so it was kind of slow. But slammed before and slow. I, I spoke with Debbie, Debbie Galetti. Um, she said that it was just hopping earlier. And it was good. It was a good good thing to do. Um, there was a bikini contest that I don't believe the girl that should have won. I, I think she should have won. The girl that won should not have won. The girl that didn't win should have won. Uh, it was just one of them things, man. Yeah. It was like, okay, this girl looks like way better. This girl just showed a little bit of ass and tits. That's pretty much how it went. <laughs> Skin to win, oh, right? Listen. Skin to win, baby. So, but it, it, I mean, it's okay. It's, it's okay. But maybe that's just my opinion, which it is. You know, maybe right. they don't reflect the views of Rock and Roll. Drive, <laughs> but I just think this one girl should have won. Dude, um, it was Planet City. I met Dr. Paul Bearer. Yeah, I, I, I saw that he was going to be there. Me too. Met Dr. Paul Bear. Oh my God. <laughs> what the fuck was that? I'm just hey. sorry. 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 Creature feature. No, we love the mamba. What the fuck? <laughs> it, was, it was a trip. Um, oh, barbecue. They gave away yeah, 500 man. pounds of barbecue. I'll tell you what. I didn't get it. Oh, you, you we were there too late. We did. We did. Was it all right? barbecue was 
It was off the chain? On. Yeah. The sauce, oh my god. Yeah. yeah. Those it's, brothers, um, they were amazing. Do you know yeah. who it was that did the did the food? Yeah. No, it was nah. um nah. two black guys that were um with a trailer. Oh, yeah. It was oh, a trailer no that was good they stuff. Oh man, that's the best way, man. Great guys, um just awesome to talk to and their food, their sauce, the sauce. The sauce. On point. Shite. Camera right there, not the... Shite. <laughs> there you go. It was good. <laughs> <laughs> but it was Plant City and then the freak show. <laughs> what? It, it was def- no, there. you can go there, bro. You it was freaks. definitely a freak show. Um, but but the event was good. I, I have it to say was. there was a lot of nice oh bikes. Gosh. There was a lot of a lot of good stuff going on. I took some pictures. No, I didn't get a lot. Awesome. Uh, you'll have to excuse Ray. He's going in for a beer. Going in for another beer. <laughs> now that's why we were in a bar. <laughs> so we can get beers. May as well pull one out for me. Fuck. Mm. Bro, what the hell are we? So anyway, um, 1200 episode. Awesome. Next time they do uh, an event, we'll, uh, we're definitely going to have to get to that. Yeah. It was a nice ride out there. It was a beautiful ride out there. Oh my there. gosh. Didn't rain at all. The sun was out, nice and warm. I got sunburned. Oh, sorry. You dropped your glasses. But it was an awesome ride out there, man. That's a yeah. gorgeous ride. Gorgeous ride. Yeah. And that, and that's what we 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 mostly. That was the most. That's used. I mean, that's. We that's found a it, couple side roads. Um, we did. Oh, man, Dan Dan gorgeous. took me. You know, when you get to Rock Ridge. Fuck fuck. Weather's a sink there. When you Got get to it. Rock Ridge. Instead of going to the left like you're going towards Dean Stills and all that, you go to right, the right, 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 and you go back this way a little bit. Then you hit a turn, you go to the left, to the right again. Yeah, you go on. up, and it's just like three more rights. It's all back curvies and, and awesome. Really? Yeah. Well, don't go, don't go fast. Oh, oh no! Don't go fast. <laughs> no, no, no. Just <laughs> that's a definite that's nice such cruise a great road. Ride. People are stopped in the middle of the street. That's how few people go back there. Yes. Oh wow! Yeah, there was a car just stopped in the middle of the street off to the side of the road and he was doing something in the grass and he waved to us hey how you doing <laughs> good old backwood good old back oh yeah father, missing, right? i think he had two teeth in his head <laughs> he's a good guy so cool man so so yeah paul bearer was there and uh yeah paul bearer um and born to ride did their thing uh, i was, was trying to think i can't remember the other guy's name i'm sorry with that was with born to ride um oh wow I'm sorry. yeah i don't i don't remember his name but anyway he was there to, to help there. MC it and stuff. I was looking for Flash because, from what I understand, Dave Flash Morgan. Yeah, see that That's little. Mm, mm, and from Flash and Friends, I'll plug you there. Uh, he um, he was he's supposed to be the uh, the voice of Born to Ride. Uh, he had another event, so he couldn't do it. But. Uh, my buddy Flash. We'll, we'll I see. He's 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 emceeing an event that's coming up. I saw is he? That. Yeah. So we'll have to check that out. Also, yeah. did you notice the ride out there? Um, the strawberry patches and just that smell. Oh my gosh! It was great. The the it, it was, was great. The odors out there. The I guess for the scents you would say not oh, odors. Yeah. Great. Odors bad. Scents All good. All orange groves and whatnot. Beautiful. Orange blossoms. Oh my god! Yeah. Gorgeous. It was gorgeous. Just strawberry. So anyway. That's pretty much the event, and uh, it was good. It was a good event. It was a good. Well, good, time. good. Yeah. Um. All right. So that's that's the one threes recap. The one three and Ray's recap of the Born to Ride event. So now that we've got a few people on, this is the this is the topic that I wanted to get to because I think it's a interesting it's an interesting take that I think the three of us are going to have some interesting takes on it, and I'm sure that the folks watching right now and listening are going to have their own takes on this. So today I came across an article in cycle world. All right. Right. The article in cycle world says, um, let me make sure I'm on the right slide here. I'm not. There we go. Rock and Roadshow brought to you by technical difficulties. (laughs) (laughs) Um, We forgot to say that. We forgot to. Um, How can you forget that? So the cycle world article was titled, did you know some people think owning a motorcycle is classist? Explain. Okay. So classist is kind of like being racist. Okay. The only thing is, is if you're classist, you're discriminating against people of different economic, socioeconomic classes, right? So the lower class, middle class, upper class, so forth, right? So this article, which by the way, was in a, an online publication by the How's name going, of Phil? Field Mag, fieldmag.com. Okay. Okay. Which is a self-described, quote unquote, 
digital home for lovers of good design and the great outdoors. Good design. Okay. Okay. Now, okay. So what is this article really get into? Now, I pulled up the article. The article was written about a electric motorcycle. Okay. Okay. It's a, I guess like an electric dirt bike that somebody is putting out. Which we've all we we've had this discussion before. About electric show. motorcycles, electric and this motorcycles, and, that. and where the market is for Live, and blah, wire, blah, 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 right? Blah, blah. So yeah, I'm gonna quote the article, and then we'll we'll discuss that because I really don't have much more written about it. it. This was more of a discussion point. So the article says, "quote Now we think motorcycles are great. Yes, they're awesome. I love it, but not everyone agrees." Largely because they're dirty, loud, and polluting. Huh. Not to mention the underlying classism, classism and political implications involved in owning a motorcycle in 2019. Huh. But Calc and Calc I'm, I'm confused. addressed pretty much every level of this situation with fresh designs, zero emissions, and serious performance. Arguably tackling one of the more touchy subjects, making a motorbike that appeals to even the most design-minded, peace-loving tree hugger, looks in mirror, unquote. So wait, whoa, 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 whoa. So with that, <laughs> political implications, classism, dirty, like loud, trees. polluting. Go! <laughs> no fucking way. Hold on, hold on. So You're me, on. me, me, me. You're on. As I own a motorcycle for transportation, not because I own one because I'm trying to outdo the guy below me. Fuck him. You fucking elitist. Yeah, that's what I am. I'm a fucking <laughs> elitist. Below me? Below me. Oh, like the little <laughs> Well, yeah, that too. No. Come on, man. This is bullshit. So with this guy, my, my next door neighbor, he drives a fucking Challenger. Mm -hmm. Do you, is he a classist? Yep. Okay, he is. He is. Oh my God! So he, I don't have a Challenger, but I got a motorcycle. So do I outdo him? I don't know. I don't know. Come on, man. All right. So what they're saying is, me, third class, or you know, middle class is oh, what I'm. I'm not third class. I'm no, middle class. No, so I'm a middle class sure. guy. He's and, got a nice pull. <laughs> did you say pole? He's got a nice pull. Did you say pole? Pool, the backyard. He, he's good. He's like, what the hell, oh, man? Pool. So. Here, here's crazy. the thing. He's talking to the computer, not the people. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry. It's his first time. I know. So Come anyway, on. here's my thing. She I'm on it. <laughs> sorry. Right. Go. All right. Reel so, it in. so here's my thing. Here's my thing. Third, cl uh, third class. There I go again. Middle class, own a motorcycle, and there. This article. That's these people house. are trying to say that. I'm outdoing people. I'm I'm a classist because I own a motorcycle. Yeah, that's what they're saying. Pretty much. Okay, but I need my motorcycle. My motorcycle is my transportation every day. I have one car. Right. Between my wife and I. Right. I have two motorcycles. My right. wife has one, and I have one. Right. But mine is my daily driver. Right. So I guess we could say that because we own two motorcycles, that oh, we are a classist. I this think, is bullshit. It's I'm sorry, man. Bull, but you know, I, it, I can't. And the reason I wanted to bring this up is because this is a this is a microcosm of what society has become right. today. Right? Everybody's Somehow. everybody's got to find everybody's got to find something to be fucking pissed at because they don't have enough shit wrong in their own lives. It's really what it boils down to, right? You don't have to fucking worry about where you're getting food. You don't have to worry about the house. You know, everybody's. I, I'm not okay. I'm painting it with a broad brush. Everybody's got a fucking roof over their head. Everybody's got a car. I goddamn guarantee you, doesn't matter who you are. Everybody's got one of these fucking things. Okay. Oh so, God! Even the fucking people yes, that are sir. on EBT I'm get just all that saying, shit. Right. So they get free. They got Obama phones, free phones. Exactly. So the point of this is that the, the point. Yes. Hey, look, the point is this, right? The point is this. It doesn't. It doesn't matter who or what you own. Okay. Hi, Vivian. No, here Phil. Phil's on. Phil said it is what it is. I will always ride. I get it, Phil, but no, it's not. It's not is what it is. No, and it's here's the thing. Now, and and don't get me wrong. I don't know. I don't know this this uh, this publication, this online publication from Adam, right. right? Right. I don't know what what subsect of society this publication represents. 
I don't know that there is a large but, I don't know that there is a large majority of people who who believe this, okay? But this is I, in Cycle World. Well, no, no, no. Cycle World is writing about this article that was written in um, okay in the other in the other publication. By the way, I have I have a link for it for the original. Um, like, okay, the but original article, I like this. But. I like what Seth. So so Seth, Seth Richards, who wrote the article, <clears throat> he says this. He says, "If owning a motorcycle is wrong, I don't want to be right." Right, and I agree. Of course, Which was, right. I mean, wow. Well, yeah, it's it's it's. I brought I, I brought this topic to the show today because it's a polarizing it's, discussion. Because obviously the three of us here have a vastly different view than this article than than the than the per, you know what I'm gonna let's give this man a little bit of credit for being an idiot. How about that? Can we do that? Can we let him <laughs> no, do that? by all means. Uh, his name is the original artist. The yeah, guy, the, 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 the original that, article was written article. by. Oh, look, he doesn't have his fucking name on it. How about that? Oh, no, but Seth Richards wrote it and said, hey, this is the article. Yeah, I, so, yeah, I don't have, I don't have, a, the author is FM Editors, I, so I don't know. So oh, anyways. See, they're not even brave enough yeah, to put their fucking because, name out there. Because they know how much of an idiot they, they sound like. So, um. I'm sorry, Phil. I'll get off on you. No, Phil, we are not. We're not. It, it, it is not what it is. You no, know, I, I just. That's no, it's 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 a it's a view. Look, here's the, here's the thing, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna unpack this really quick. Thank Every you. everybody has an opinion. Everybody has a right to their own fucking opinion. Yeah. Period. Right. If somebody wants to think that me or you or Ray owning a motorcycle uh, is is it us, elevates us is us uh, 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 it demonizing doesn't. it does demonizing somebody in a class. That's their fucking right to believe that they right. can do that. Okay. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know what that publication represents. I don't know the, the subsect exactly. of society that it represents. I I like to think personally that it's a very small, a very but, small but group of people. Don't you think before But here's the thing, right? Here's the thing. Hi, if, there's, How you doing? if there's even if there's even a, a smidgen of the population that is actually that actually in their own brain thinks that guy riding that motorcycle right now is is offending me because I don't have the ability to afford a motorcycle. I got something Then you, you need to fucking look in the goddamn mirror and figure out what you did wrong in your life. You're not on fucking two Wait, wheels. A fucking head too. Oh, what no, the I fuck got, is that? I, I, I mean, offending. Okay, so if I say something that offends you, you or you or anybody no, out there, that's your fault. No. Sure. I, can't, I can't offend you. You take offense to what I say or what I do. That's on you. That's right. not on me. Oh, absolutely. So I, I mean, I don't believe that I can offend anybody. But that's that's the whole point, right? So then, it, it, at at what point, right? At what point in all of this in all of this uh, discussion? At what point in all of this um, rhetoric that they're spitting out there? At what point does somebody take the ownership of that and go, you know what? This is fucking bullshit. Not us. Not let's us. yeah. Let's throttle this back. Yeah. Well, uh, they won't. No, they won't. They, they don't have to. No, because because it pro it, it biker makes, racism. Yeah, yeah, for yeah, real, it is. It absolutely is, and and it and it and it's promoting it's promoting this this really fucking weird, you know. Look, we got bigger. Look, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it this way. Do it. We've got bigger fucking problems in this country, in this neighborhood, in this state, in this. In town, my neighborhood's fucking everything. Good. Okay, I'm just saying we've got big, good, yeah. we've got bigger issues no, than worrying worry. about. So, excuse me, worrying about some guy on a motorcycle and me and somebody thinking that because he owns that motor or because I own that motorcycle, yeah. I am I'm saying something against somebody who can't afford one. No, man. Uh, yeah, I, I get you, man. But so, I, I just but can't it, believe someone would actually put that goes, in print. But again, it goes back to what I was saying earlier that. We've come to a place in society now where you there there legitimately are no worries anymore. Like, I mean, honestly, if you if you take your if you take your life, right, and you look at your own your own existence, right? With the exception on that, deep. No, 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 yeah, no yeah. Yeah, yeah, go deep. Well, let's go. Look, if you take a if you take a look at your own life, right, and you look at things that you have, right? Yes, sir. Okay, now think of the things that you dwell over. Right. Okay. Maybe it's 
this bill didn't get paid this month because right. I didn't make enough money or whatever the fuck, whatever so, it is, right? No, go ahead. You have an issue, you have a problem, you have something going on. You but in the, in the grand scheme of things, your, your inability to pay your bill this month is fucking that big compared to the problems that the rest of this world has, okay? Oh, yeah. There's people who don't have food. Very good. Very There's people good. that don't have water. There's people that don't have a house. There's, I mean, you name it, right? Oh, yeah. The, 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 the problem that you have, and, and look, all of us, oh, everybody, everybody watching this Out show, there, okay, everybody here. watching this show, with the exception of maybe some of our international viewers, <laughs> but especially <laughs> the fucking people that and, live in this country, uh, hey, okay? And I'm, point, you, and I'm pointing to all of you, you guys know, out there. If you're in this country right. right now and you're listening to this show and you're watching this show, you have zero fucking problems in your life. I don't care. I don't care if you think that you do have problems. You have none. You've got your... You're watching this on a phone, on a computer, on something, okay? You've got internet. You've right. got, I mean, look, how far do we want to go into this? I don't know. I don't but know. All right, what, 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 what's Bobby? Bobby's saying, we ride and they'll all like to do so once, but won't for whatever reason. Some jump out of airplanes too. That's you, Bobby. I won't. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> Can you fly the damn thing? No, That's I'm right. That's We're awesome. just all gladly nuts. And have fun, no matter what what it is you ride or do. Yep, doesn't have to be sexy to ride. You're right. You're right, Bobby. It doesn't. Now, I mean, that's pretty cool. I like the way you said that. Look, and it, it really just but, boils down to. You know what, people mind your own and, fucking and, business. Yeah, that's well, really well, here's the thing. Here's a, you know, I'm gonna go back because you kind of you offended me. Now you may have offended somebody. You didn't offend me, but you may have offended somebody with your words. Some people do have problems, and to them, it is great. All right, and I'm just gonna say. It's not, so, let's just say somebody always, there's always that other person yes, that man. has more problems oh, than you. Yeah. There's always that guy. So to you, yeah, it might seem like the world, it's not. Look, I mean, it, all I got to do, look. We're just talking about motorcycles hey, look, here, man. All, all, I gotta, all I have to do is, all I have to do is look at this show. Yeah, and look at the shit we've talked about over the last 17 episodes. Which is very okay? awesome. And you get... One guy that I can think of right now who's got more fucking problems than anybody else in this room yes. and anybody at home watching, and that's Mr. Brandon Niles. Yes. The guy oh, who loses no, both of his fucking legs, yeah. and now he has to deal with that for the rest of his life. And now he's going out there, and he's fucking doing the shit that he has to do to stay alive, to, to be a father for his kids, to be a husband for his yes. wife. And you're going to sit down and turn around and complain about something you have going on? Like... Check yourself. And then on the other side of the coin, Great job, if man. you're going to fucking come at me because I have a motorcycle, you got to check yourself. You because you've got bigger issues than, 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 oh, yeah, than anybody Because else. I have a fucking... Do you, you don't know my situation. I don't know your situation. Right. You know, this is... For you to say that I'm trying to outclass somebody, fuck you. Yeah, exactly. Just, just fuck you. <laughs> We're, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to like... No, because my nose is getting red. I can see it on there. Which means that my face is going to get red. Pretty soon you're going to see fucking Look, veins coming out This is why neck. I wanted to bring this topic up because I knew, ah! I knew it would be a good conversation. Um, and it, I mean, look, again, everybody has a right to their own fucking opinion. You can, you can say and you can do the things, you, whatever yes. you want to do. Look, that's, up, that's, you, that's, that's your prerogative. You can do that. And like, like the one three said, if you're offended by something that I say, something that I do, oh, or God. something that I sit on to go from one place to another, check yourself. Oh, That's wait, on you. Um, I, I, uh, and we're, we're not talking to Simeon. Your prerogative. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's your, it's your prerogative. No, yeah. 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 Now remember the band? Yeah. Bobby, Bobby Brown. Brown. Yeah. Son of a bitch. So, really? Because I used to... Uh, rock. <laughs> so, uh, well, yeah. Man. So there you go. Is owning, <laughs> is owning a motorcycle classist. I want everybody that watches this show now and in the future to make a comment on this on yeah, this if you're, video. If, if you're watching live, comment to something right now because I, I want to see if you tell me what what do you think? What are, what are your beliefs? Are you trying to be Thank better you, than the, the other person, or are you just riding to ride? I mean, I, I here's Bobby's statement. I mean, it's right there. He's riding because he just wants to fucking ride. It's fun. Yeah, and I get you, man. Absolutely. So comment. On on, the, on this video, when if you guys oh. watch this later, comment on the video. Let us know why 
Let us know if you think owning a motorcycle is classist. And if you do think so, why do you think so? And if you don't, then why do you ride? I think that's a really good... That's a good one. A really a good, good yeah, one. why do you ride? I don't like that. Why do you ride? I mean, All right. we found so, out why we rode. That's right. So we'll... Um, Chuck and Deb. We'll pack that up. We'll stash it away for a little bit. We'll see what comments we get out of this. Yeah. We'll bring it back at a later date. and We'll, we'll have a little... Uh, a little group powwow discussion about the rest of this. Absolutely. Uh, but I definitely wanted to bring this up because I knew it would, I knew it would generate the... the oh, you, was, have, you got me was, fucking that eating on awesome. that one. That's a good one. Good one. So, all Thank right. You. So, we're going we're gonna, to uh, we're move forward. Hoffa. I got Mick Ultra. <laughs> Did Hoffa just there, join? But no, but oh, if, he, if he's out there, yeah, we got we got the chick ultras for you. Yeah, yeah. but I'm, I'm drinking them. I'm sure he buried Hoffa. So, fuck no. We rode a piece of shit for many years. Fuck right? yeah, we did. We love riding. <laughs> yes. Tom, Thank Tom, you, man. That's Tom Brady. That's absolutely go. perfect. Absolutely I perfect. I like that one. Tom. So, um, <laughs> so with that, we're gonna uh, we're gonna fast forward now. We're gonna jump into events uh, because I know I know somebody here is is chomping at the bit to talk about an event that's coming up. So we'll oh, here we'll, we we'll kind of get to uh, we'll get to it. We're gonna get to the we're gonna get to one. We're gonna talk about one real quick. Uh, this is the High Octane Saloon Biker Bash that is going on. He's, he's throwing my fucking beer around. <laughs> no, we'll just close that. We'll okay, just close that. Close. It's fine. No, the High gonna, Octane Saloon Nature Coast Biker Bash uh, that is going on High this Octane? weekend. Yep. Uh, starts tomorrow. Um, I don't really have times. Um, I know um, I know Bobby Frist is playing at 9 o'clock tomorrow. Um, Jezebel... Yeah, Jezebel is playing playing Saturday. She's awesome. And then um, uh, I don't know you. Big Engine right. is playing at four. Big Engine on on Sunday. Okay. Um, so, you know they always have this thing, and I I, I normally go to it. Yeah. We, we like last year I went to. Yeah, it you went to it last year. I remember. Yeah, we, the, we talked about it. I think if I'm not mistaken, we did this bash um, as the Rock and Road Show one year uh, with, uh, oh, with Flash. The guys. And, yeah, we went out there. Bud chicks were all out there and everything. It was it was a great time. Yeah, um, I've never, I've actually never been to High Octane. You I've, what? I've, yeah, I've driven um, by it a hundred million times. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we. Now did. you guys, you guys went a couple, yeah, years, a couple we months did. ago. Oh, we'll have to go out there. One yeah, day. we'll have to try it out. We'll first. just go out there That's on the weekend. Just yeah. To go. So, um, so yeah, uh, the High Octane Biker Bash going on this weekend. Um, the next event we'll talk about is one that uh, the one Free brought to me today and uh i really like this i heard you you got to work next weekend which yes, sucks because sucks i would really me. like to do this i may just you can I may just, just go, go man and do just it. do it i may just go and do it because I, I think it's a really good event um so it's the tribute to the troops ride that's is, uh, going to be saturday and sunday next week the 12th and 13th uh it is the third annual florida tribute to the troops ride and benefit concert uh they will be uh they'll be visiting families of of uh Florida Fallen Heroes on both Saturday and Sunday. Uh, the purpose is to let them know that we will never forget the sacrifice their loved ones made and the family have made on the behalf of our country. You know, and, and, and being a veteran, yeah, I, I'm, I'm I got duck bumps on this. Yeah, one, man. You know, right now. Um, the uh, it goes on Saturday and Sunday. After the ride on Sunday, uh, there's going to be a dinner. Uh, with some Gold Star families from the area. And for those of you who don't know, Gold Star Very families cool. are families Very who cool. have lost somebody um, uh, in service, basically. Um, they will be uh, doing a dinner with them, as well as a concert uh, performed by country music recording artist and the tribute to the troupe's co-founder, Rocky Lynn. I don't, I'm not a country music fan, so I don't really know who that is, but I'm Me sure either. it'll be a good, good time. Uh, it's a great opportunity to let the people know that we remember and that we care. Okay. Good call, man. Yeah, um, good call. So Saturday, April 13th, um, check-in will be at 8 a.m. Uh, mandatory safety briefing at 9 a.m. Yeah. Kickstand's up at 9.30 a.m. There'll be a lunch spot, so bring cash. Um, <laughs> and then the, both rides on both days start at Brandon Harley. Awesome. Yeah. And, and when he says cash, bring cash. Yeah. Not, not, I mean, because sometimes they're, the, well, I can tell you the lunch is cash only. They're not going to have the little slide things. Yeah. They, they don't have them. Uh, Phil, Phil Scala, he says, uh, he did it. He's best ride of his life. There you go. Good job. And that coming from you, bro, that's, that's awesome. Yep. So, uh, so that's Saturday. Sunday's 
pretty much the carbon copy. 8 a.m. check-in, mandatory safety brief at 9, kickstands up at 9.30, lunch is included, um, or stopping for lunch, bring cash. <laughs> and then the ride the ride will end at the Crown Plaza West Shore on Sunday. That's shit. Um, Woo. Dinner and pro uh, dinner program and concert will start at five thirty on Sunday. Um, it's not included in the price. Uh, the safety briefing is mandatory for everybody that wants to ride. So you have to be there at uh, nine a.m. for the safety brief. If you're not there, you, you don't ride. Go. Correct. Yeah, you don't ride. Uh, I will link the um, uh, the ticket. The place you can buy tickets uh, at, on the show after the show. Right. Um, the price for it is if you want to do both days, uh, twenty dollars for a rider, ten dollars for a pack for a passenger. If you're doing a single day, it's ten dollars for the rider, uh, five dollars for a passenger. Dude, that's cheapest. And then uh, if you want to do the dinner and the concert, it's twenty dollars a person. Oh man, that, you know what? It's almost worth it just to throw that in there. Just even, throw it in, if even you if you don't go. If, absolutely. So uh, it helps the troops. So go check that out if you guys are in the area. Um, like I said, one three one three's got to work, so he can't make it. Um, I'm gonna try and at least I'm probably make it out on Saturday. Kim Kim's gonna be out of town that weekend, so I may just run out there Saturday. And well, uh, I already wrote it down that you're going. So <laughs> and make uh, make a presence for the uh, Rock and Road, Road, Road Show. So take some video, take some stuff, absolutely. interviews, dude. Bring the mics. I'll do what I can. Um, Okay, with that, let's jump to the next one. Uh, the wow. one that uh, Ray wants to talk about. This, uh, this is the Leesburg Bike Fest 2019. This will be uh, April 26th to the 28th. Uh, Three-day motorcycle event, music, uh, 30 blocks, 55-plus concerts, 200-plus vendors, uh, bike shows, stunt shows, oh, eight venues, all kinds of stuff. Uh, the headliners are, we talked about this. <laughs> oh, morning. God. It's kind of funny. Vanilla Ice is playing Friday. Ice, ice, ice baby. <laughs> ice, no. ice, baby. No, I mean, I know my shit. Bum, 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 buddy, <laughs> bum, bum. This is bum, my... Bum, bum, buddy, bum, bum. I've been there every year. Bum, 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 buddy, bum, bum. Um, <laughs> Vanilla Ice is there Friday at 9.30. Vince Neal's playing Saturday at 10. See, now that, that I, I, I'm hoping I can make it to Yeah. That. And then... Uh, Uncle... Go Ninja, go Ninja, go. <laughs> Uncle Cracker's playing at 2.30 it's on Sunday. Us. Yeah, so so there you go, Leesburg Bike Fest. Here's what I'm hoping go I want to do. Oh, go ahead, what, go, man. This That's, is on you, man. This is all you. I've been going for every year, and I have my family and friends up there. And, Talk and, to the camera. And, we go. Y'all know you. Dang. I put you on the spot now, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> but I've been going every year. Every year. All right, so, so tell me. We'll, we'll do a quick interview. Well, I used to live there. So, all right, you lived in Leesburg. So what what do you do when you go on Le to Leesburg? What do you do? What is your what is your plan? Tell well, me. We go to Mike and Tammy's first. Right. And hit Mike and we Tammy's. We chill out, and um, then we head downtown, and yeah. It's, hit Main Street. It's game on. Um, I'm, I'm assuming there's uh, alcoholic beverages involved? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. And you have been in involved in a few of them. but so, um so i mean what do you, go ahead what do you like right, what I do you like to live do about in leesburg i know i on. love listen listen what do you have what do you like about leesburg what oh gosh what, the bike fest what do you oh, like about that tell me it's that's our that's our shit right there um god 20 years um and we have our lakes and and, and fishing and and whatnot Bike, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. Thanks, man. <laughs> yeah, no problem. I got you. So, so Leesburg Bike Lee Fest. Burn. You heard it from Ray. Ray and says you gotta go. You gotta and go. Everybody knows all my friends in Leesburg, and I'll show you this video. Y'all know me. God, I love great. this. Great. I love Le this. So Leesburg Bike Fest, uh, April twenty sixth to the twenty eighth. Uh, go check it out. Uh, I think one three is going to try and make friends. an appearance for the Rocking Road show. I unfortunately will not be there because I have to work that weekend. I'll actually be in Atlanta that whole time. So. I will. I will make it um, per the one four on Saturday after my after work because I do have to work that weekend. Um, I may have to take videos um, for the one three show. Yeah, <laughs> for the Rock and Road show. You got so it. We got this. So we'll do we'll do um, some videos. We'll do some pictures. We'll take some pictures of bikes. Uh, Bobby, I'm sure will help Ailers. But what I want to do is, you know, I, I, this is what I like to do. When the one four and I go, um, it, it's crowded. It's really fucking slammed. Mm -hmm. So we sit on Main Street, right near the main stage, and that way we can hear 
the band that's playing, but we don't have to deal with all that crowd. We find a table, we drink our beers, we have a good time, and we people watch. Right. We love to people watch right there on, right there on Main Street. It is just freaking amazing. And they're also welcome to um, Mike and Tammy's. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're going to invite way we're too many way people. Way too many people. Oh, Mike, Mike and Tammy's. Tammy's. <laughs> they're invited. Yeah. 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 No, Mike they... and Tammy to go, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, no. No. That's hey, my brother. So, so what's that's Mike and Tammy's brother. address? <laughs> that's my brother. No, y'all. <laughs> Sorry, no. <laughs> Not I'm, you all. I'm saying this. <laughs> no, please, y'all. All right. That's funny. He almost, he almost said it. No, yeah, you can't. Do so, that. Um, <laughs> the last event voice. we're going to bring up is uh, the bike bikers in blue poker run. Yes. Um, this is the Sunday of Leesburg, so it's the, the, it's, it's, the right. last day of Leesburg. Yes, sir. The uh, bikers in blue poker run. That's cool. Uh, going to be at Brandon Harley Davidson. It's supporting. Supporting English is hard. It's supporting uh, new time. <laughs> supporting camp Idlewild, uh, which is uh, a camp for kids. Uh, they say it's a special place for special kids. Right. Um, another another really cool event. Ten dollar registration. Uh, five dollars for your first two hands. Five dollars for each additional hand afterwards. Um, there's going to be a free continental breakfast at Camp Idlewild when you That's get there. Awesome. It's the second stop, and there's also free hot dogs and hamburgers. After the ride, go oh. back at uh, Boots and Badges at Brandon Harley awesome. Davidson. Kickstands up at 9 a.m. Uh, it starts at Brandon Harley. Uh, Brandon Harley to Camp Idlewild. Camp Idlewild to Coney Island Drive In in Brooksville. Uh, back down to um, Lando Lakes, just down the road from here. Yeah, at, uh, in, the, in the Loop Brewing. Right. Which oh, is a pretty cool I spot. I haven't seen that yeah, one. Very no. cool spot. Is it? Friend of yeah. mine owns that. Yeah, very cool spot. Look at you. Yeah, and then it no. finishes back down at <laughs> Brandon <laughs> Harley. He's um, pretty cool. So super cool event. Super cool event. Um, our buddy uh, Wild Bill, if you ever see him on Facebook, Wild Bill, and uh, his his lovely wife Stephanie, um, they th put this on. They're the ones that actually uh, are awesome. behind this and, oh, okay. and put it on and and do all the leg work and everything. And nice. it's freaking awesome. And and Bill Bill's the one that sent me. This this information today, and that's why I was able to pass it Perfect. on to you. Awesome. Um, I think um, I think uh, Sharpie's emceeing this too. Sharpie is probably involved, and we need to get we need to get, Sharpie. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get back in touch with you. Give me a call. You got my number. Um, we we really really want to get hook up with you. Maybe maybe May is the month. Well, it's in April. We're April now. Oh, well, April's kind of fucked. Yeah. Um, <laughs> maybe. In, maybe. Yeah, it's pretty I'll be in Texas. So maybe, Sharpie, maybe. We, we, we truly, truly, truly do want to uh, do the uh, the Salty Shamrock event. You know how life gets, man. Sometimes sometimes <laughs> happens. So, so yeah, you know, eventually we're going we're gonna to get out to the Salty Shamrock. You could always come here because we do this one weekly. <laughs> and come here first, and then we can nice, get down there. Nice. We'll just do, the, we'll just do the, uh, the event outside. We'll just... The whole bike night right oh, here. I tell you what, <laughs> I guarantee block party it. Block, block it. party. All right. So, uh, so there you guys go. That's the um, that's the show there for the night. Is um, it? Yeah. I mean, we're kind of we're kind of at it, right? We got holy shit. Seven we're minutes like, left. Man, we oh, gotta yeah, talk I about something. Be. I'm gonna bike. I gotta leave. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I you gotta wait a little bit. You gotta wait a little bit anyway. Uh, <laughs> yes. Like, can I say that? Yeah, you can say that. <laughs> um, so, uh, so yes. Um, here we have come to the end of the show. Yes, we have. Um, I want to thank our special guest, Ray. Ray, you're 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 you're, uh, you're a good you're good friend. Go over there. You're uh, you're a character. We love you. Woo! Um, hey, I got a little mm. little, little close there. Yeah. Um, be careful tonight. You cra I'm, and you you're crazy bro. bastard. I'll be in Texas in three weeks. Two yeah. Weeks. Oh, hey, if you guys need a bar built. Two weeks. I got to go to Dallas. That's the man to get a bar built. Well, I'm building one in Dallas. <laughs> he it's a brass tap in Dallas. He built my bar. This bar right here? Everybody, everybody. Shit. You know, the <laughs> thing is, the thing is, what's really funny is people only see this much. They don't see the bar. Um, one day, we're going to turn the cameras around. I'm pretty good what I do. One day we're going to turn around these cameras and we'll, we'll show the bar. It is a nine foot long bar with a two foot return. And it is a true oak 
bar. This is. I'm good at what I do. <laughs> he is, man. He is. It is a wet bar. I do have uh, <laughs> me a plumber. I got a sink and all. did a great job. Electrical. Here. Got all kinds of shit going on. But anyway, if you need a bar built or you need something built, thanks, man. He'll do it. Ray, Ray, raise awesome. man. Hey, you know what? Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm like, no, I don't need I'm any too more. Amazing. No, man, I'm Ray, call that. Ray. No, so, man. Uh, all right, so we'll absolutely. <laughs> so Ray, thanks for stopping by and hanging out with us, guys, man. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Love um, you guys. Next week's show might be a Friday show. Um, really? Not a Wednesday show? I, yeah, I thought it was going to be a Wednesday show, but I th I don't think I'm going to be back in Tampa uh, with enough time to do it because I'm, I'm going to be in Augusta for the Masters. And Ooh, I'm you coming. can't fly back? Just, Are you, you know, well, I'm going to be coming back, but... I don't know what time I'm going to get back. Are you so, playing? I mean, I want to play. No, I wish I was playing. No, no I'm he's gonna, flying. I'm going to be sitting around. <laughs> he's um, flying out there. So, yeah, no, I don't I don't awesome, know. Man. I'll tell you this way. Look, stand by to stand by. The show will either be a Wednesday show or it'll be a Friday show. Okay. Hey, and another thing. I know I thanked Ray, which is awesome because I love oh, Ray. I love you, Okay. Man. Um, thank you. But I want to thank Chuck and Deb yep. from the Chuck and Deb show. I Which, by the way, no, before, you, awesome. before you pass that, they love um, you guys. we are we they are going to do something the other way, and we're going to have you guys on our show and do the same thing you guys did to us, and we'll put you all on the spot. Uh, yeah. We'll probably do Only, it. I think I'm going to prepare you with what questions we're going to ask. <laughs> no, you. that's the whole point. You can't do that. <laughs> so, I'm going to go ahead and pee. You so go we're going um, <laughs> to have them join us. Uh, we'll oh, so you want to put them on a spot? Yeah, and then uh, we'll probably do it uh, via Skype so that so – that, We'll have so them we can on have video and everything else. So, um, yeah, that's a good one. So I think I think that's gonna that's gonna go. So you got something you got something more to say? So go for it. Well, yeah, I, I just wanted to continue thanking. I mean, once again, here we go. Misfit Metalworks, awesome. Thank you very much. Uh, really appreciate what you did, Marvin. Um, you know, and here, you know, I haven't mentioned him in a long time, but Eric Warren Artistry, that, that guy's freaking amazing. I know I throw his stuff out there, and. I also want to throw out Liquid Addictions, uh, Hydrographics. They are freaking Tom out there. Dufour, I think his last name is. Tom mm -hmm. Dufour. Amazing, amazing work. He's been throwing some stuff out here lately that is just incredible. Yep. I was looking at some, some stuff. Man, oh, man. So, everybody, all of our people, everybody watching, everybody listening, thank you so much. Everybody overseas, god damn, thank you for watching us. I appreciate it. You know... You got anybody? I mean, I want to thank everybody. I, I think you kind of, I think you kind of covered it all, man. We got people in North Carolina, South Carolina, Louisiana. We got people in Miami, California, uh, Indonesia, Malaysia. Uh, oh, um, Rich, huh? Yeah, Albania. Boy, Rich. Hey, I don't know. Like, you guys, you guys that follow our page, <laughs> you guys all know uh, Rich. We had him on here before the uh, event in St. Pete. Um, Go check his page out because my man Rich is in Albania right now, first of all. And he's in a really sweet spot. And he's got a lot Beautiful. of really cool, a lot of really cool pictures, uh, some really cool video. Um, just an interesting spot. A lot of a lot of history there, a lot of really weird, like Cold War stuff. Just really, really kind of cool stuff. If you haven't done it yet, like his page, Rich's Life. Absolutely. It is freaking amazing. That's R I C S R I C H S L I F E. Yeah, Rich's Life at Facebook.com. That's and we'll put again. I'm gonna link all that shit at the end of the show here. Man, I'm so. glad you can remember it because I won't. Well, I had. I luckily I have it all. So <laughs> I th and I think. By the way, I think I figured out the issue because it doesn't look like we we lagged out at all this week. No, so we're doing pretty good. I think we figured it out. So. Uh, we're still brought to you by technical difficulties, obviously, but at least <laughs> that'll never go away. At least this week it seemed to be a a, a, a fluid show, so uh, I'm happy for that. <laughs> uh, so with that, guys, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we love having you guys on the show. We love all the interactions that we get. Oh, um, absolutely. If we missed anybody or missed any comments, uh, we're sorry. We just kind of got into conversation. We had some fun with it tonight. So. Absolutely, and this is the way we go. And you know, my ADHD did not kick in too much. Not too much. We're there. We're good. We're so, there. Uh, so with that, guys, thank you for joining us, and keep it rocking. Rubber side down, baby. We'll see you. Bye bye now. <laughs>